Okay. So I'm making this video right now. This is going to be about, I'm going to have to be making this video public too today. Um, so this is going to go into just evidence of hip, um, hypnosis and hitting handwriting and slowing the entire process down to an unreasonable abusive extent. So let's see. I have some information here. Um, starting with this one, please make sure to watch my video entitled um, hypnosis abuse and speech inhibition. That's what my entire channel is going to be about, primarily. Whereas, everything revolves around um, the hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak. Um, including the writing, because, you know, the only reason they inhibit my ability to write is so that they can inhibit my ability to speak. And then... I also want to clarify here, I do have a feel, uh, level of competency in the, in the field of hypnosis. Uh, I mean, this is a, you know, just printed off on regular printer paper. It was an online, rather comprehensive hypnosis course, though. So that was successfully completed, passed the testing and everything along those lines. Regardless. So I'm going to have to, oh yeah, and I'm going to have to make a video about seals too. I forgot about that. So let's see, I'm going to do... I have to, uh, so this is about the petition here. So that's actually done for the most part, right? Now oh, there's a little bit about hypnosis speech inhibition on the back. Ah, this is about hypnosis has been neglected to be acknowledged by our legal system to the extent that it is posing a significant danger and risk to public safety after being abused with hypnosis and attempting to go to the police, even, um, so I think I rewrote that, right? Okay, I didn't rewrite that, did I? Because if I didn't, I'm surprised. And I'll have to. Because this was after I witnessed a murder. So I have those two terms down, that's good. And then I have to do the critical faculty, critical factor. Um, spreadsheet, basically. And then I have to... Uh, that'll also be, those will also be um, related there. Let's see, so, to start, hypnosis is really being used to abuse me, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here, even though the hypnosis is trying to prolong me as long as possible and consume as much of my time as possible, because that's how it, it's being used to abuse me. So, you know, I mentioned that several times. So, due to abuse of hypnosis and the dangers being neglected by the public. Ah, uh, okay. So, what I'm going to be writing here, this is something that I have to do. When, um, I don't remember if I mentioned that video, it's called Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. So please make sure to watch it on YouTube. I'll, I'll make sure to have a link for that video in every video I make. So let's see here. Okay, I can go ahead and start writing that part without a problem. Let's see, so hypnosis has been neglected. Neglected to be acknowledged by our legal system. And I need a hurry as well to be acknowledged by our legal system. Let's see here. So to be acknowledged by our legal system. Ah, there we go. That's nice. Uh, the hypnosis is definitely still inhibiting me a lot. Um, mm, that's why I had to... That's why I was hypnotized to have difficulty with that grunt and then erasing that letter M and having to rewrite it. Because hypnosis has been obviously in, uh, being uh, used to abuse me. To 
to the extent. That is posing a significant This is where the hypnosis is really slowing me down quite a bit. A significant danger and risk. I'm also going to be making a video about hypnosis and handwriting inhibition probably fairly soon. My handwriting is fairly sloppy in this as well, I noticed. But legible enough i mean it's good enough i guess so let's see hypnosis has been neglected to be acknowledged by our legal system to the extent that it is posing a significant danger and risk to public safety all right so anyways that's what that means that's me trying to speed it up so and then that's where you're able to see a lot of the strain as well in my voice when you know like that is often used in combination because i'm trying to force it to be able to allow me to anyways so Let's see, I'm moving on here. After being abused with hypnosis and attempting to go to the police. Okay, so I'm gonna have to say, um, all right, oh, that's where I wasn't able to finish quite yet, but I mean, I'm basically done, which is nice. So, let's see, I'll go ahead and get started here after. And this is where there's a lot of misconceptions about hypnosis. After, I mean, that's very, that are very apparent. After being abused with hypnosis. Witnessing a murder. And threatened for it. Uh, there we go. Witnessed and threatened for it. Wow, okay. So that's an example, right, of the hypnosis just inhibiting me. So I'm going to be uploading this video. We're going to see how long it takes me to write all this because it's not that difficult to do. Hmm. All right, so after being abused with hypnosis, witness ing, sorry about that, witness ing a murder, let's see, witnessing a murder and, oh wait, and being Threatened for talking about the murder. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go into this. So this is pretty um, extensive, right? Talking about being threatened for that's another word that I even left out. Grammatical term missing expression. Being threatened for. I'm going to write that down actually. Expression of anger. There we go. Just because um, I was hypnotized to elicit an audible ex expression of anger. Sorry about that. Being hypnotized to imagine express explanation, um, which is really. I mean, if you think about that, uh, that's just uh, going along with it. That's another form of trying to conceal, um, you know, the abuse. So let's see. Um, th uh, being threatened for uh, for talking about the murder. If 
Sorry about that. The hypnosis is inhibiting my ability, right? About talk for talk. Ah, okay. And then if you see any strain in me, that's where, you know, like uh, that's where we're gonna have some problems. For talk, uh, threatened for talking about the murder, especially because of the context of what I'm writing, right? Um, let me see. Mm, sorry about that. Being threatened for talking about the murder and being hypnotized. Okay, sorry, not and. Um, being hypnotized. to inhibit my ability ability to testify about the murder and sorry what was the last part <sighs> yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, let me see. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show this too. All right, so here is a picture. This is actually me attempting to write a witness statement. And all right, so a variety of things happened here. Um, for one, it my hand had to cramp, or either it's usually one of those two. Either my hand will cramp from writing something that they don't want me to write, or, and or, my hand will, I mean, uh, like, uh, I'll be hypnotized to distract my conscious attention and my critical, well, I mean, you know, my conscious attention or awareness, um, in hypnosis, the term is called critical factor specifically, uh, if you want to specify the technical term, but, um, yeah, so, uh, by distracting my critical factor, and then, while I'm writing, they were able to make me, uh, you know, say for example, even write the wrong word that I originally attended, intended to without even being consciously aware of it until after the word was written. Uh, which, I mean, they can do just by distracting my attention, first of all. And then, uh, in this case, I mean, it could have been my hand cramped or it could have been, um, I can't remember which one specifically. Uh, it could have been my hand cramping or it could have been a distraction because sometimes I was distracted. And, um, it wouldn't be because my hand was cramping, but I was just like unconsciously writing or um retracing the line formation the line formation the lines <clears throat> the pen strokes in the line formation of the letter of the last letter of a word like the word murder repeatedly um while i was distracted until the letter became bolder and thicker than the rest of the, of the word um which would be the letter r which is uh three or four times as thick and bold as the rest of the word murder and you can see it in here that that's where the picture really starts to start. And then um, you can also see it because the R in the word murder is, let's see, the word murder starts right at the C um, to draw even more attention away from the word murder, right? Because it draws it to concealing evidence instead, um, which isn't as bad as murder, right? Like, even witness tampering is not technically as serious of a charge as murder is. So, um, because you have to have proof of the murder before you can have proof of, you know, witness tampering anyways, right? And then, uh, the, you can see the R right here, right there, that's bold. And that's an example of it. So, especially because I was hypnotized, and then there's also even more examples in here, because of the fact that... <clears throat> This happened, uh, if you can see the um, N and investigate here, looks like a stick figure. That's the stick figure, right? And then it's in the word investigate, it's an N. And then um, my name right here, Matthew, which I mean, you can really barely see at all, even with uh, the EW, right? But um, you can see there's another stick figure there. It looks like he even has like dreadlocks or something along those lines. And uh, that is, 
um, actually my name, Matthew, right? Especially because it's written with one T. Um, but, you know, the H is, uh, also looks like a stick figure. Because the T crosses through the back of the H, and then it looks like he's, um, so I sanitized to think the H was, uh, me holding a phone, right? And then the N was me on a notebook. Writing in a notebook. Um, which is interesting, right? Very specific and a little bit like too coincidental, right? Um, there's even more in there that I can elaborate. Um, the R actually turned into a river, which turned into the entire thing, right? <clears throat> because, uh, you can see that, right? And, uh, the reason, like, uh, you can see there are waves going off of the R. I was hypnotized to make that from the, uh ending line the ending pen strokes of the letter r um you can see that it comes up and it form and, and these are supposed to be waves right if you can see the little curls there so that's what that was and then let me see to testify about the murder and uh i survived manslaughter and i survived manslaughter From being hypnotized. To not drink water. Unless. I would notice. My back. See, I'm hypnotized to feel pain. Um, that's known as operant conditioning, right? Punishment. To not drink water unless I would notice, or someone else, someone else would notice, or someone else would notice. Or if they would get caught for it. Or unless they would get caught for it. Sorry about that. Hold on just a second. And my back hurts. Okay, they're abusing me. Sorry about that pain, right? <clears throat> okay, so moving on. Um, and when I attempted to go to the police for it, uh, there we go. And when I attempted to go to the police. This is horrible. Mm. Um, and okay, and this is an example. Like I was hypnotized to smile when I talked about this, in an attempt to make me try to look sick for it. I'm um, sorry about that. Like uh, this is really abusive. So, unless someone else would notice, or unless they would get caught for it, and when I attempted to go to the police. I was told that my victim and 
found witness testimonies would not not be admissible in court because I was hypnotized. There we go. So, I mean, if that doesn't sound terrifying in and of itself, then I mean, like, I don't know what does, right? Uh, because, I mean, you know, like, I just showed the evidence, one piece of evidence that I have, which, I mean, I can explain in a lot more detail of hypnosis literally being used to, as a form of witness tampering, to keep me from not even just speaking about it, but also even writing it. So, I mean, you know, that's witness tampering, right? I don't know what else would be considered witness tampering, considering the context of that. Uh, it also happened when I was writing about... Um, uh, this is something I need to include in the handwriting, too. This is important, actually. I'm glad I rem remembered it, because... Uh, so, when I was trying to write about how I was sentenced to not drink water, and... What I had to do... Um, and this is with the hypnosis... You know, like, uh, because you can kind of, uh, kind of tell, right, what's going on. Especially because, like, I'm trying to talk and it's not really easy for me to be able to talk, right? But when I was hypnotized, whoa, that's interesting. Because I, that's not what I, exactly what I was trying to say. But, uh, when I was writing... about being hypnotized not to drink water. When I was writing about how I was hypnotized not to drink water my hand would cramp because of the hypnosis So my hand would cramp because of the hypnosis and <clears throat> and uh, which caused me to re have to rewrite it. To rewrite it, but but not more than twice. Or else it would be noticeable. 
or too noticeable. And uh, that ha happened specifically because I had that thought that came in my head while I was uh, while after the I crossed it out a second time. Um, so that happened. And, uh, you know, that's where I started, like, collecting all the evidence in my handwriting and everything like that. And that's when, you know, like, uh, um, I noticed my hand cramping when I recorded a video of myself writing the witness statement to the murder. Um, so that, sorry, that notice is not having my ability to speak right now. I mean, strange, unusual, right? Who wouldn't know they wouldn't have wanted me to talk about murder, right? So, my hand would have, would cramp when I recorded... The, we, uh, my hand cramped while I was writing the word murder and then stopped cramping as soon as I finished writing the word murder. So it started as soon as I started writing the word murder, finished as soon as I finished writing the word murder. And then um, I recorded on video. I thought I had carpal tunnel and then I watched the video and I noticed that my hand was cramping uncontrollably but only while I was writing the word murder. I tried to upload the video onto the internet unsuccessfully. Video ended up um, disappearing somehow some way on my SD cards I was able to get a screenshot of the video um, uploaded on the internet but regardless um, that's uh that was another you know like uh, that was kind of like the pattern that led up to the entire incident right I'm not able to even remember like the 